Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to make a jute wrapped vase out of a 99 cent store coffee mug and show you how to do a natural Thanksgiving centerpiece. You will need a 99 cent store coffee mug without a handle or something like it, like a porcelain vase, some heavy duty painter's tape, Loctite spray adhesive or even Mod Podge. Uh, a spool of finished jute twine and flowers, uh, some base blooms, some focus flowers, and some branches. I ended up using hydrangeas for my base blooms because they're fluffy and uh, they come in a variety of different colors. I really like the white ones, but I've seen them in rust and orange and other very harvesty colors. Uh, a bundle of focus flowers. My focus flowers are what my florist called a bromeliad. They're these spiky orange red colored blooms that I thought were so interesting. And I'm using branches of what was labeled as mini pumpkin branches that are easily found at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. I don't believe they're pumpkins though. I think they are persimmon fruits or some relative. First, you are going to mark your jute wrapped area, or rather the top of it, with painter's tape so that you don't get adhesive on anything other than the area you want to uh, put the jute around. Make sure that everything is sealed pretty tight so that no adhesive um, slips under the tape. Then go ahead and use your adhesive of, ch of choice and make sure you've got pretty solid coverage. Uh, the Probably the most difficult part of this is to uh, wrap the base. You can even add a little bit of hot glue to um, to the start of the first um, round just so that it's stable. Then uh, hold the jute twine taut against the base and just keep wrapping. It goes pretty quickly until you get to the top of where the uh, adhesive and painter's tape meet. Make sure you're removing the painter's tape instead of uh, wrapping, continuing to wrap the jute twine over it, and then uh, finish off the jute twine all the way to where the last of the adhesive is. Take a small dab of hot glue to finish off the twine and uh, keep it stable and steady, and go ahead and snip it. And you have a quick and easy natural finish jute base. You can arrange your flowers however you'd like. I'm going to show you how I am arranging my Thanksgiving centerpieces. I start with three hydrangea blooms that uh, create a cloud-like base. Uh, I'm going to snip my stem so that the hydrangea blooms sit right above the vase's rim and uh, really fills out. Then the uh, focus flowers are going to go right on top of that. If you can't find bromeliads, I know that they're not that easy to find. You can always use lilies or even orchids would be gorgeous in an arrangement like that. And they come in the orange and harvest flavor, uh, flavors, colors. Uh, so when you are putting any flowers into a vase, make sure you're removing any leaves that might be underneath the water line to prevent any bacteria from growing and preemptively ruining your arrangement. And snip all your stems on a bias so that your plants get as much water as possible. Once you're done arranging, step back and enjoy your gorgeous floral arrangement with the natural jute theme. Watch the sun fly by.